As one chapter closes, another begins. The best is yet to come. Sometime this year, the early stages in transforming the 30-acre property into a modern town center will begin. It's been a long wait uh, to see this property redevelop. Uh, it's in a great location. It's probably the busiest uh, traffic intersection between suburban Erie and suburban Pittsburgh. As for an exact timetable of when work will begin, that is still unknown. A big theme as people prepare to bid farewell to the Shenango Valley Mall is that they feel nostalgic as they are once reminiscing on the mall that they grew up with and shopped with when they were a kid. I talked with a member of the Hermitage Historical Society about the mall's beginnings. A returning theme, demolishing the old for the new. In 1966, they started demolition of the farm that was there and proceeded through the building and I think Penny's opened in 68. The mall was built on a small portion of the 200-acre McConnell family farm in what was then Hickory Township. For years, it was a success. The mall brought more people to the area. But by the late 70s into the 80s, things changed. The steel mills closed. Uh, Westinghouse went out. Sharon Steel was up and down. There was a lot of layoffs, high unemployment. People were moving around, moving away. In the last two decades, the rise in online shopping made an impact as well. To help say goodbye to the mall, a local group is hosting an event on May 4th. The final day it will be open is May 31st. In Hermitage, Hannah Erdman, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.